Washington, D.C. So I just wanted to talk about that for a few minutes. Now, I also serve on the Oversight Committee, everyone, and we have been leading the investigation into uh, the impeachment inquiry of Joe Biden. You all know how I feel. If I had it my way, we would have impeached him a long time ago. <laughs> in our objection on January 6th and he wouldn't even be president. <laughs> I'm getting better though. We'll get there. So uh, there's a certain someone that here, I want to show you his reaction when he came in and I just got my Chairman Comer recognized me to speak to him and uh, this was his reaction. Ms. Green, the order for Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, excuse me, Hunter, apparently you're afraid of my words. Yeah. Uh, I'd like to reclaim my time, Mr. Chairman. Wow, that's too bad. <laughs> that was too bad. And so he, want, he wouldn't come back. He would not come back for a public hearing. Hunter Biden, in spite of all the talk that he, he had made, in spite of all the interviews he did, in spite of his little press conference that he had outside of the Capitol steps, uh, and him saying that he wanted a public hearing, after that took place, he would not come back for a public hearing. <laughs> so that should tell you everything you need to know. He did come in for a private behind closed doors hearing where he had all of his attorneys Was and as great? much... <laughs> but someone very brave, someone I think is an American patriot, did come in and, and testify, and that is Tony Bobolinsky. Yeah. So, I wanted to play you guys a clip uh, from that questioning right here. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Joe Biden continues to lie to the American people about his role in his family's businesses. In 2020, he stood up on stage of a presidential debate and told the American people that his family didn't take any money from China. That was a lie. Not only was it a lie, he knew it was a lie. He knew it because he met with his son Hunter Biden's Chinese business associates. I want to talk about CEFC, which is the China Energy Fund Committee. Mr. Bobolinsky, who is Chairman Yi? Chairman Yi was the chairman of CEFC. Thank you. Joe Biden told the FBI and IRS that Chairman Yi was the protege of Xi Jinping, the leader of China and the Chinese Communist Party. Mr. Bobolinsky, Brock Walker told this committee that Joe Biden met Chairman Yi. Are you aware of that? Yes or no? I am now. I wasn't at the time. And Joe Biden also met with you, is that right? Yes, he did. Twice. Who is Director Zhang? Director Zhang was uh, the number two at CFC. The executive director of CFC, the number two? Yeah, he was the number two executive, but really the point person that uh, I worked with and the Biden family worked with. And he's the individual that Hunter Biden was shaking down at the end of July 2017, demanding that they fund the uh, $10 million. They only sent five, but $10 million directly to Hunter Biden's account for Wasco. Thank you, Mr. Bobolinsky. I want to show you a text message that Hunter Biden sent to you and his other business associates. I'm holding it right here. I'll read it to you. Hey, Tony, I have an idea. In light of the fact we are at an impasse of sorts, and both James' lawyers and my chairman gave an emphatic no, I think we should all meet in Romania. He's speaking about my chairman. When Hunter Biden came in for his deposition, he said that he was referring to Chairman Yi, and that the rest of your group referred to Zhang as a different chairman. Does this make any sense to you? That's a lie. I never... Heard Director Zhang reference as chairman, <clears throat> and I had direct communications with Director Zhang over WeChat. <clears throat> met him in Romania, met him in Moscow, met him around the world in New York, trying to develop this business, and he was never referred to as the chairman 
first of all. Second of all, that makes absolutely no sense in the context of this message because we are discussing Oneida Holdings LLC. Thank you. So he was not the chairman, just to clarify. Yes, Correct. Sir. Okay. So I want to show you another text. When he said his chairman, he was talking about his dad. This is from Rob Walker. It didn't seem to make much sense to Rob Walker either. So he said that when Hunter, he said this to you, when Hunter was talking about his chairman, he was talking about his dad. When Rob Walker came in to give his transcribed interview to the committee, he basically said, well, Hunter was high or confused or mad. And Rob Walker said that he was just trying to calm things down between you and Hunter. But that doesn't really answer the question about who Hunter Biden is talking about. Hunter Biden lied to this committee. So here, clearly, he says, Rob Walker saying he's talking about his dad. So I want to be very clear. We've established that Zhang is not the chairman, obviously. Is that correct? Yes or no? Correct. Let me show you another message. This message doesn't call Zhang Chairman Zhang, does it? It just says the Chinese want to do business with the Bidens. As a matter of fact, it says, both coming to be my partner, to be partners with the Bidens, with an S. He, Zhang, is implied has implied that the number one has made it clear and available to him. Who is the number one? The number one is Xi Jinping. Xi Jinping, the president of China? Yes or no? The leader of the Communist Party, the CCP? Yes. Is the number one? Yes, that's the number one that Hunter was referencing in that message. Now, let's be very clear, this was in 2017, but I would like to make it known for this committee uh, that Joe Biden told the press in 2016, as a matter of fact, he, I quote, yeah, I am, I am going to run in 2020. He told the press in 2016 that he was running for president of the United States in 2020. So here is, the Bidens doing business in China in 2017 when everybody knew he was planning to be president of the United States. Do you see that to be a serious problem, Mr. Robinson? You know, and I wish this committee would thoroughly investigate it and focus on all the evidence that the SDNY has on CFC. They had FISA warrants, so they were recording conversations, and I wish they disclosed all that data and fact to this committee. Thank you, Mr. Robinson. <laughs> Just imagine if they had uh, President Trump and one of his sons, Eric Trump or, or Don Jr. Imagine that scenario. Just to clear that up, that was the most important five minutes I've heard in any committee hearing. That was when Tony Bobulinski testified that Hunter Biden's chairman was not anyone else, any of those other names. It was his father. His chairman is his father. That means that's my, that's my business partner, that's my boss, that's who I answer to. That's who Hunter Biden answers to, his father. Then the number one person that they were doing business with in China is the president of China, Xi Jinping, the leader of the Communist Party, the current leader of the Communist Party, the current president of China. It was the number one. Those text messages were personal text messages between Hunter Biden, Tony Bobulinski, and Rob Walker. They were business partners at that time. Do you understand what danger that puts all of us in? Our President of the United States is completely compromised, can be blackmailed, is bought and paid for, and our government is doing Nothing about it. As a matter of fact, he is the perfect president of the United States for them, for the deep state, because he will do whatever they need and whatever they want in order to continue this going. 